Okay, hello everyone, it's day 39. As everybody knows, something happened to my phone. We've identified where it is here in Washington, D.C. We're going to hopefully get it back. We're going to give everybody a chance to do the right thing. Um, so, first of all, to Jason, um, I didn't watch what sh whatever you did with uh, my brother and so forth. I saw the photo. This is not helpful in any way. I need Dave uh, in these lawsuits. Again, the focus has to be on the Awans, not slinging ridiculous things at my brother. Um, if you want to have a fight with him, fine, but do not insult him on my uh, in my name. Uh, he is has added incredible value already to this uh, to the lawsuits. He's already added. He's been a, a war hero. He got shot down. He's been uh, an incredible uh, data professional that's, that's testified in front of Congress and so forth. Everybody has their faults. They don't need to be uh, uh, lampooned. And I'm, I just want to say, and I in no way endorse what Jason did last night. It was the exact wrong thing to do as we go to trial. Horrible. So, having said that, there was two other folks that... Um, were on uh, that went through all of Jason's videos I mean all of them and took m the most embarrassing out of context things they could and did spoof files as well outside of Defango there's two other people Hill HRC Ratline or whatever so I thought well hey I'll go through uh, my videos and we'll pick out the good stuff you know and actually it's not even the good stuff I just took a random sample at intervals and hopefully um, we can uh, hopefully it'll see my cursor here but um, here, you know, day 50, we really talked about pay to play, and there was two operations that had been run by Hillary, Zero Footprint and Timber Sycamore, and it was really kind of driven by Eric Braverman, and we were already talking about the links to Muslim Brotherhood and the steps that they took in Turkey and so forth. And then when we went over here, day 88, this is the famous Cy Hirsch day, we kind of drilled down a little bit on this operation with General Grange and the Stinger missiles, the planning, Mike Morrell, the disruption of Otpour. Then we moved over here and kind of, now McCabe isn't in the picture yet, but we brought in Dyncor and brought in Haiti and, and kind of saw that this pattern was guns, drugs, and, uh, you know, weapons uh, and oil or minerals. So it's, it's kind of guns, minerals, and drugs was the what they call this God rat line. We brought in Palantir as kind of the follow-on to Promise, which manages all this. We see this paying off again and again with, you know, Trump giving a pal a Palantir access to the uh, Prince Solomon and so forth. And over here in day 130, you know, as soon as I saw Braverman's behavior, I brought in McCabe because I'd seen this happen so many times before with people that McCabe had set up with dossiers in, in 130. And then I moved into 140 here where I was talking about how opiate targeting works. Graham Fuller, writing the plan for Central Asia, then, then Europe, Eastern Europe, then uh, bringing it uh, to, to potentially the United States, which would be very unfortunate if that happened. Uh, but you see here I, I pick up the lost hegemon and, and just looking at the modus operandi of the CIA. Really started drilling down with all of our research on the Awans here with all the different car companies, all the different homes. Uh, all the different cutouts, all the different potential. I think it was back on DISA here that this was a DHS project through DISA and it was kind of a fusion pro, uh, fusion center type project way back here in day one, 160. Uh, we moved on to looking at different types of opiate targeting and what the rat lines might be through Texas and how Imran's father was involved in this blue sky net and we started talking about satellites at that point. We moved on here to talk about Imran's ties to the Punjabi Police Department How's, and how Imran was in the uh, Karachi uh, Customs House and so forth. Um, and we uh, took a look at some of the radical stuff that was on his websites. And here we went to, to Cleveland. Uh, we talked about the, uh, these finder networks these, that basically, you know, uh, potentially came, you know, hovered near people that were sick to find organs for people. And then they would take the bribes through these used cars, and that was an, ended in the murder of these two people, in, the Kuznicks in Cleveland. But we got kind of back on track when I found the hard drives and found the Blackberries through this Marine. At this point, day 200 or so, I hadn't said anything about the Marine's name. Um, we moved into talking again about the rat lines, the Sugar Land Express here in Texas, and then we started drilling down on the rat lines with, you know, who, who had... DH, who at DNC discovered 
that Bernie was being kind of ripped off. And I had said that maybe they had sent it to WikiLeaks. Somebody, I didn't say Seth Rich, but somebody had sent this to, to WikiLeaks. And I'm by the metadata, by the metadata of when John Jones was put in uh, the mental institution and then Ratner dies, I would say it was about February, February of 2017. So um, we come over here, we talk about, um, well, that may be a repeat here. Um, uh, I start with another channel. Uh, I, I have these phone conversations. We do a lot of long live sessions, but I talk to Deep Uranium about Pakistani ISI-111, these drug routes, and he's really saying, no, it's uranium as well. You, you, you got to look at the uranium rat line, and he talks about this Kazakh uranium <clears throat> with these Uzbek truckers. This is all the way back, way before the ports thing, but that leads us up to uh, this is a month before we're talking about Musa is the PAC ISI-111. This is the group that Imran's a, a part of. And that comes down here to this, <clears throat> oops, excuse me, uh, to the the lead up to this Maersk, us identifying the Maersk. And I still think we're right. McClatchy says it was for uh, uh, diplomatic containers. I, of course, take five calls in a row uh, from the DHS saying, just check the four containers, just check, just check the diplomatic containers if they say I want. Of course, they try to do what they always do, which is blame you for being a, uh, for their crimes. Uh, I've talked to Cliff Arnebeck. You can see me almost setting up now. I'm, I know that I'm going to have a civil rights trial here. I know I was being uh, hounded in parallel construction. You can see me going immediately to the top civil rights lawyers. I also, there's this odd uh, Johns Hopkins connection with Molly McCauley's death. Go to her site here, but I walk all around because I don't just go to the site. I go to Johns Hopkins and I see this kind of satellite. Um, it's kind of almost like a playpen for the CIA uh, of all the kind of dirty tricks of the CIA. Um, as we start developing more, I bring forward, I finally, about 40 days later, bring Andre Taggart's name forward. I start bringing these different companies that Imran worked for, Lightbridge Communications, which I believe is just a cutout for a company that Ibrahim owns, which is called Tech Mahindra, in, uh, in, uh, which is Dyncor and McLean, uh, which is in uh, Mumbai, India. Sorry about that. Um, you can see here I'm well on this idea of spiring by day 290. Uh, McCabe has stayed on this front page, and all these players will stay on the front page. McCabe has been here since 1.30. Um, so this leads into day 300 with the Trello board coming together quite nicely, and then kind of 310, it transitions into um, this... Um, uh, you know, kind of legal actions. This is where I kind of get my legal baptism of fire w with the D.C. courts and uh, and making arguments. And, and I still have actionable, uh, I still have ability to overturn those, like our good friend uh, Mr. Sloan did in front of the uh, D.C. appeals court and also uh, the Supreme Court. But I go to the sites as well. Everyone can see the phone booth, you know, the visualizations here. I go to the actual place on the Potomac. There's a guy who ends up, a couple of people end up getting thrown in the Potomac. One guy gets thrown in right behind here who was in the State Department, who was managing trade, a diplomatic trade to Asia. Uh, dies right there about a day after I filmed that. Um, but we keep on, you know, we just don't let it get in our way. We, we identify all these addresses down here. Uh, kind of funny, funny travel between Tennessee and this Jaquea and uh, you know Jason does a good job of identifying that sprayer house and kind of opens up those witnesses as well um, and just looking at you know how close these things all are around this South County it almost seems like they're recruiting uh, people to be a part of these honeypot operations to compromise people here in South County. And there's still a lot of questions there, and I still think there's a lot of investigation that be, can, can be done. But as we're moving through here to day 350, or excuse me, day 350, I guess, we're really honing in on almost being able to do a movie of here's the credit union investigation document. We're getting down to documents now. We need the uh, document of the phone booth arrest, the police report there, the 5,100 illegal logins, terabytes, the Blackberries, the Pride hard drives, and so forth. I kept on the hard hard uh, drives, but now we've added suspicious activity reports and all this sort of thing. So that leads into the timeline right around the first of the uh, first end of the first year, and now we're transitioning in kind of to the lawsuit. 
So we're kind of putting things on a timeline, the most significant things. And really you don't want to do that before you have a real good sense of what the key events are. Again, go back to the Kazakh, uh, uh, to use back to uh, uh, Pakistan line, it turns out that the Pakistani police are the guys who uh, recruit the Uzbekis to go get the Kazakh uranium. So we're right on the money here. And then Saipov, the Uzbeki trucker, does, runs down these people. So it just looks like they took the people from this 2004 to 2005 to 2009 rat line, and then when Hillary Clinton becomes Secretary of State, they just move them to the United States. And of course, all along the way, it looks like there's this application being written, this logistics application that's being written. It's a combination of using satellite data and cell phone data. So we'll get there. It looks like they're moving money through a Nadra bank. We keep producing more and more detailed evidence, detailed um, floor plans and so forth, so that we know what questions to ask when discovery comes around. And as you can see, um, as we move through, we go from kind of the Awans to the DNC, now to the people behind them, which is Podesta Group and Fusion GPS, and we start uncovering uh, or start seeing that um, uh, they have not only had 5,000 blank pages that they gave the Judiciary Committee, Devin Nunes, House Intel, but they've also had 112 missing transactions. Turns out they th paid three journalists. We might think that that might be Greg Miller of the Washington Post, which I believe is true. Um, uh, John Yang of, uh, of, the, of NBC, that may or may not be true. I think it's actually a producer, John Yang's producer. I think John's getting thrown under the bus. And then Susan Crabtree over at uh, Washington Free Beacon. And I think that is, again, she's being thrown under the bus by Bill Kristol. So that leads us up to now, which is there's three lawsuits here, okay, against the Awans for the spying and DNC, and then the Podesta Group, which is more the getting dossiers on people, and then the other, and Fusion GPS, and then also the FBI for using these cutout groups in kind of a DHS attack on um, kind of a target list, kind of a watch list. And this goes back again to the Phoenix Project in Vietnam. The reason why I keep saying, hey, let McCabe go live on the on a Virginia uh, farm, don't bother him, is because I, if you change out McCabe and put in Ray or whatever, it doesn't change anything. You have to change the structural things, which is the, which is the surveillance that you can order through these cutouts like uh, uh, Fusion GPS and the Awans, or uh, through the Awans mainly, not Fusion GPS. Fusion GPS is basically collecting all the data and creating dossiers on people. Fusion GPS is just an example of one of the fusion centers. There's 89 fusion centers. This is happening in all 89 fusion centers. This is the Phoenix Project all over again. You can read Doug Valentine's book. This is 40 years old. Basically, you create a list of winners and losers in your area. And it's usually done by state, but uh, where in places where you have... Um, where you have uh, sanctuary cities, you're going to have a higher percentage of, of winners uh, for your people. Smaller number, but maybe, but you're going to want them to win more, and you're going to have probably more people being attacked in the large cities uh, to, in order to support those activities. That's the key here. So the key is stopping this, which is the larger thing, which is everyone's civil rights. It has nothing to do with my civil rights or Bernie Sanders' civil rights. It does. I mean, that's going to get us there. It's kind of a a stepping stone to then dem the Democratic Party and then to all, all every citizen. So these are just examples. You know, the Podesta Group is an example of a political lobbying firm, okay, that is using pay to play. The Fusion GPS is a group that accumulates a whole bunch of wiretap information to create a dossier to slowly destroy you over time, okay. DNC is, is just a cover. It's like a religious cover or a political cover. You can't go in there and arrest people. You're arresting them because they're Democrats. It's just a cover, a place where you can have your spiring, which is which is the uh, wands. So um, I don't want to lose ourselves here in the big picture with these petty, ridiculous fights. They're just so stupid, and I can't... Uh, uh, anyone spending their time on that and not on the civil rights of the people of the United States are making a very big mistake. And Dave, I just want to say thank you for all the great uh, stuff that you've done for me. Um, I didn't know anything about spycraft zero everything i know most of it was taught to me by dave um, now that was augmented a great deal by deep uranium 
He's focused on trying to stop the Awans, the Fusion GPSs of the world, the Podesta groups, the DHSs. This is really about DHS, which is a CIA outgrowth, basically. It's CIA in the United States. It's really about stopping them. It's not about stopping any of these individuals. I actually hope none of these individuals, I hope they all get huge uh, farms, and lots of horses, uh, people come and go as they please. But, and Hillary gets a place in the Maldives, unlimited uh, bar tabs. What I want to unlock is this DHS attack on people's civil rights for, for their political beliefs.